All right then, so now we know how to use this use effect hook, we're going to be using it to fetch some data. Now, use effect is a good place to fetch data in a component because we know that it runs the function right here when the component first renders initially. And that's generally when we want to go out and fetch some data. And then we can use that data in our application instead of the data that we have right here because typically in a web application you wouldn't hard code data like this instead it would probably come from a database using an api endpoint now i don't want to dive into creating a database and a rest api from scratch because that's going to take us a long way away from react and i want the focus to remain on react so instead what we're going to be doing is using a package called json server which is going to allow us to build a fake REST API just using a JSON file that we can use to test this out. So if you want to learn more about JSON and JSON server, I've got a full tutorial right here on YouTube. So the link is going to be down below to that. So then the first step in all of this is to create a JSON file, which is going to act as our database. So what I'm going to do is in the root directory of Dojo blog, create a new folder and I'm going to call this data and inside here I'll create a new file called db.json. db just stands for database, you can call it what you want, it really doesn't matter. All right, so what I'm going to do is just paste in a bit of JSON into this. So all this is, is one property called blogs, which is an array of two other objects right here. So each object is a blog. It has a title, body, author, and ID. So we have two in total. And when we're using JSON server, each top level property is considered a resource. So we just have one top level property, blogs. So it sees this as a resource and it creates endpoints for us to interact with this resource. So we can do things like delete items from it, add items to it, edit items, get the items, etc. All right. So that's the db.json file sorted. The next thing we need to do is use the JSON server package to essentially watch this file and wrap it with some endpoints. So there's two options here. Either we can install the JSON server package locally into this project and then use it, or we can just use npx like we did with create react app to run the code from the web and it will still watch our file right here. And that's what we're going to do because it cuts out a step and I'm super laser. So I'm going to open up a different terminal right here. Not this one because this one is running our local development server. So what I'm going to do is click on this plus icon to create a new terminal. And then inside here, I'll say npx and we want to run json hyphen server. And then we want to use a flag called double dash watch to watch a file and then the path to our file is first of all in the data folder then db.json and also after that another flag to say the port number and this is going to be 8000 now the reason i've done this is because automatically it tries to go on port 3000 i think which is what our local development server for react is running on so i'm specifying a different port number right here so press enter this is then going to watch this file and it's going to wrap it with some api endpoints now you can see right here it's picked up that we have a blogs resource so if we wanted to send a get request to get all of the blogs we would use this endpoint right here and i can demo that by copying it and then just pasting it inside our browser right here if i press enter we can see all of this json data right here so that gets us the data now typically we're not going to be using the browser to get that data instead we're going to be using a fetch request inside our component using these different endpoints right here now at the minute we can just see this forward slash blogs endpoint but it also provides us with other endpoints as well so I just wanted to show you some of the endpoints that we'll be using in this project that JSON server provides us with. Now this isn't all of the endpoints, just the ones that we'll be using. So first of all, this one right here, forward slash blogs for a get request to fetch all the blogs. That's the one we just tested in the browser. We also have an endpoint to get a single blog and that is forward slash blogs forward slash the ID of the blog that we want to get. Remember each blog has an ID property. 
And then after that, we have forward slash blogs for post requests, and that adds a new blog. And then finally, forward slash blogs, forward slash ID to delete a blog as well. So these are all the different endpoints that we're gonna be using in this project. So next up, we'll see how to make a fetch request in useEffect to fetch all of the blogs.